Satnam. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a pick up all reading to see, just popped out of the shower, uh, to see what is the truth on your situation, okay? So we have four piles to pick from as usual. For pile number one, we have this cool little snail shell. The spiral is kind of hypnotizing me already. For pile number two, we have this beautiful fairy quartz. Very light lilac fairy quartz. Then for pile number three, we have this JC rose. <clears throat> and then for pile number four, we have this beautiful silver tree of life, the world tree, Yggdrasil, with the moon hanging, hanging on the branches. Okay, so those are the four piles. Let's see what's the truth of your situation. Pick your pile and we'll see you later. <laughs> Not again. Let's say thirty-five now. Yeah. And now searching and dead. Satnam Paul number one for those of you who picked. Who picked it all do da pickles? Uh the snail shell. This is gonna be a reading to see the truth of your situation. So like pickles. I'm getting there's some kind of like fermentation process happening or like something's becoming better with time or something's becoming better as it's put into brine and kept on a shelf, okay? Or that was the case and I feel like you're about to like open your jar of pickles maybe. This might have been something you even forgot about and the situation you're inquiring um, on is leading to something you forgot about as well, okay? And I'm hearing you forgot about it just enough, okay? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like the Three of Pentacles with the strength. It's kind of giving me process energy. So uh, the process might have not even... Like, you might have not even known that you were going through a, a, a process like this. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Exactly, because you weren't really putting much effort into this. Okay, but anyway, like, I feel like I was, I was, I was a little bit off track with that energy, Paul number one. Just know that something is going to come in um, that has a lot to do with the present situation you're inquiring about, okay? However, the truth of your current situation is also that you really don't have to do anything. I feel like you've been put in a situation... You've been put in an energy where you feel like you can't really do anything anyway. I feel like you might be feeling a little bit stuck. You might be feeling like it doesn't matter what effort you put in. Um, it's going to stay the way it is. I feel like that's not the case. Uh, you are in a pickle jar. Like, like you're not really, literally in a pickle. Uh, like, we need to shift our perspective on that. You might feel like you're in a pickle, but you are the pickle. You are the pickle, pal number one. So you're literally actually becoming better because of the situation that you're in. Um, and I feel like you simply recognizing that you don't have to do anything, that you're not being eaten alive or you're not being fucking digested or something. You're literally just being pickleized. I know this is the weirdest analogy, but it is what it is. Somebody might be eating pickles. I'm also getting somebody's pregnant and craving a lot of pickles. Anyway, that's what's happening, okay? You're, like, being pasteurized, or you're being pickleized, you're being, like, made eternal or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, pardon <me. laughs> So, again, like, also because this is a snail shot, like, something might be feeling like it doesn't matter how much effort you put into it, it's not working. The truth of the situation, the truth of the matter is... Uh, it is working, like everything is going well. You just need to see it the way I just explained it or in your own version, okay? Like a fine wine or something. And the truth is you don't have to put in any effort towards the situation because I feel like, um, like it's, it's almost like, you know how like when you pickle stuff, it's like the, the enzymes and everything do the work. Like you don't have to, you just like let it 
rest there. So I'm also being told like the truth is you need to rest. You need to like kind of like calm the fuck down a little bit in regards to you feeling like you need to come to the conclusion or fix the situation you're in or something, okay? Compassion. Divine being, I'm telling you. Um, like, like gods don't need to do shit right? Like, like, that's the whole point of being a god, okay? Like, that's the whole point of being divine. It's like, you simply wave your hand and shit happens. So, I feel like you're in a natural process of um, becoming this, this pickle god, let's say, okay? Like, for some reason, I feel like it has to be very lighthearted, okay? Like, you're, you're, you're in a very natural process of becoming this, 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 this fine-tuned version of yourself, okay? Um, like, very important that you realize the, the, the moment you're in currently in regards to your situation is natural, okay? So, take that and know that, like, um, like, the curing process is almost over. It's, like, basically over, okay? I also feel like if you don't feel like a god or like a divinity or something like like the gods, yeah, patience. Like you just had to have patience, like to cure yourself, to be pickled. Um, but like the angels or God or your God or like I don't know who it is that you believe in, um, is like guiding this very, very natural process of yours. Again, it might not seem like it's natural, it might seem very irregular or something like that. But, like, everything is really happening. Like, it's really turning you into the most delicious aspect of you. It's really turning you into the most delicious um, embodiment of yourself, okay? Claire, audience, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. So, with divine being and Claire, audience here, the, the, like, there's very much, um, like, a divine, like, divine action here, like, in this process, in the situation that you're requiring about. For some of you, you're actually, uh, uh, um, like, 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 specifically dealing with some kind of work issue. Um, but I feel like, I feel like even then, like, it doesn't matter what you're dealing with. Like, you literally just need to be like, well, what the fuck ever. Like, let me just magic up some monies, okay? Like, I feel like that's the energy you need to be in. Or let me, let me just simmer in this unemployment. Let me just, like, let me just, like... Uh, take in the enzymes of like lack and fear and because it's like curing me and it's making me so much more digestible and so much more healthy or some shit like that. I don't know why, pile number one, but like um, pickles or the fermentation process is very important here, okay? Like to turn you into divinity. And I feel like it's something a lot to do with your perspective. I feel like it's something a lot to do with how you actually experience your own process. I did a collective reading on this energy the other day. Okay, so go check out my other channel if you so desire. Um, I know that was weird. Thank you so much, Paul number one. That was your reading. Bye. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's do 20. No, 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 that's so fuck she had you. Satnam Paul number two. <laughs> two. This is going to be a reading to see what's the truth of your situation. I feel like you actually, I, I, I feel like you need clarity, but I also feel like you desire clarity. And I feel like um, clarity is about to come to you um, in like, like, like from different directions or something like that. Like there's about to be some kind of explosion of clarity maybe. I'm seeing like a prism and like every, everything is shining, okay? So the star reverse, you're definitely, ooh, there's somebody in the spotlight that is, I don't know, not doing well. Two of pentacles. Uh, pile number two, the, the truth of your situation. Are you dealing with somebody in the spotlight, the Hierophant Reverse? Are you dealing with somebody that has, like, a group of people around them or, like, a, a, like a posse or something? The Hierophant Reverse. You might not even realize that you're dealing with some kind of, like, group activity. Or I feel like you do, but something's about to be cleared up really intensely. Prince of Wands reverse, Prince of Swords.
Paul number two, the truth of your situation is that there is a person that um, is either in the spotlight or has some kind of maybe like following or they have some kind of like authority with that hierophant or they have some kind of like they maybe just portray that kind of energy. But there's somebody in that kind of energy that has some kind of um, inability to move towards you. And I feel like the clarity, the clarity on why is um, being exposed. And this is a lot to do with like, um, I feel like this has a lot to do with like a communication, like somebody like there, yeah, connection. There was a lot of people maybe like talking about you or um, the person that you're inquiring on was the one talking about you or like giving some kind of... Um, like, like telling your secrets maybe or some shit? Some of you, some of you are, some of you are dealing with, um, some of you are dealing with a person that is, that has some kind of like, um, spotlight energy, okay? Or they just seem to attract a lot of people to them. You might as well, but I feel like you were dealing with a person like this without really recognizing, okay? And now this person or this energy is trying to come towards you, but like they feel like they can't or something, okay? Divine being, this card was in the exact same space in the first reading. I feel like you might be, you might be, you might be a being that like has some kind of spiritual spotlight on them, okay? And I feel like the truth of your situation is like you, like, like, it's like, like the clarity coming towards you, pile number two, is that whether you're inquiring about a group or a specific person, this entity or whatever was like, couldn't come towards you or couldn't make a move towards you, um, literally because of, I feel like maybe even the clarity that you exude. And like that's the clarity coming from you to you from from each side from everywhere. It's kind of like the clarity. It's becoming clear to you that like um, I don't know that 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 you shine really brightly, and that's maybe why this person did what they did or why this group did what they did, right? But I don't feel like yes, yes, yes. They wanted my light. It's it's not giving that energy. Pile number two. The truth of the situation is like I feel like you're you're, you're starting to like almost like piece everything of the story everything that happened to you back together and it keeps leading you to the sense of like jesus but i'm the fucking bomb i'm the bomb or something like that okay like that's the truth of your situation do go check out pile number one because the card was in a similar position and i feel like Paul number one had some kind of almost intrusive energy come into their reading. Not intrusive because it was something to do with them. And this might be um, that energy. But like, go check it out, okay? But the truth of your situation, Paul number two, is like somebody literally couldn't come towards you or something couldn't come towards you. Or something, uh, it doesn't really matter because, because you hurt them. Because you're um, like you expose their demons because your 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 light shines so bright that it literally burns them. Okay, and I feel like you you just need to know that. Okay, stars. Victory. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Overcoming difficulties. So, like, pile number two, quite honestly, I know it sounds a little bit lame, but, like, your whole pile is giving me the energy of, like, rejection is God's protection. And, like, but, like, do remember that you are God, okay? Like, you are the divine being. You are the one that, like, makes the choices, etc., etc. I just feel like, pile number two, um, the, the, the truth of your situation, even though you don't necessarily recognize it right now, the clarity is going to be coming from you from all sides, from every fucking angle, from people, from God, from animals, from... Uh, of bacteria from I don't know what the fuck okay like it's go gonna be coming from every angle and it's gonna show you that you are the clarity you are this extremely fucking bright being okay and like that's why 
um i don't know like 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 you couldn't have the job maybe like pile number one or you couldn't have the person or you couldn't have the sex or you couldn't have the i don't know it's because you're too holy or some shit like that Thank you so much. Um, poll number two. That was your reading, you hear? Please do the thing and I'll see you again for no Let's see two and a half, because I like to play dangerously. Hello, poll number three. <clears throat> Hello, mate. For those of you, I don't know why, for those of you who picked the silver rose, this is going to be a written to say what's happening. What's the truth of your situation? I just heard for somebody specific, if, if you have a long time friend. If you have a long time friend, okay, wait, I need to like really get into this energy because I'm kind of like, I don't know, I feel like what I'm about to say next could make or break some kind of like friendship or something. Ten of Swords Reverse, Three of Pentacles Reverse, and the High Priestess Reverse. Because I got this sense of like, the truth of the situation, I got this sense of like, I wanted to say that if you have a long time friend, you can really trust them. But as soon as I like felt that energy and started expressing it, I felt this backstabby energy. And it was like, it's kind of like, as soon as you let your guard down, that's when they move in, okay? Like that's the kind of energy I got. Now, I don't wanna get into this like very dense energy, um, but I feel like, you know, life happens, you know, I do need to say that if you are correct within yourself and within your own empowerment, backstabby energy doesn't even matter anyway, right? So take back your power, even if you are being backstabbed or were backstabbed or you're expecting a backstab, like take it with grace because like, is it really a backstab? <sighs> Like, can you really backstab, like, a divine being? Can you backstab a god? Can you backstab somebody who has fully reclaimed their own power? You get what I'm saying? Death reversed. And the Prince of Cups. So definitely something's not done here, okay? Something, like, you think something might be over and done with. But it's not. Like, you might have actually put an end to a situation because of backstabbing, maybe, because of betrayal. Um, maybe maybe somebody put a, 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 a death to a situation with you because they were expecting betrayal. Take it as it resonates. The situation isn't done yet, okay? Like, whatever your the situation, um, you think it's done, this other... Um, party might think it's done it's not though okay i feel like it's about to be though like i feel like you're about to make some kind of choice or you recently did that's that's that that puts something into motion that's gonna bring some kind of finality okay just the fact that i'm still talking on this energy means that it's not done right i just had a vision of somebody i met um, like, I knew them, but I, like, randomly met them in some, like, obscure town, um, at some point, when me and my, uh, when we were traveling on this spiritual journey thing to go to these stones, and I met this guy there, so I feel like, I feel like, I feel like there's somebody, this might not even be like a long-term friend. Like, I feel like, 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 take that as it resonates because it might be. But I feel like another message for you, pile number three, the truth of your situation is that there's somebody from, from the long, 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 long time ago past um, that's been like in your energy. Like, I don't feel like this person is a lover. I don't feel like they even necessarily were a friend. They feel like some kind of like maybe an acquaintance or something um that you like that you've met a couple of times that this person like thinks of you quite often or something and so the truth of your situation is this person i don't know how but this person from your long ago past might actually come in with some kind of i just heard grace might actually come in with some kind of like um 
maybe even completion. They might be bringing in a completion that's completing some kind of um, situation that you... I don't want to say had trouble completing, but like, like it's almost like this, this person from the long ago past, this acquaintance is coming in as soon as a cycle does complete itself. This is very confusing, pile number three. This is some kind of hodgepodge um, thing. Like, like things in this situation are connected with this, this current friend of yours is connected with things from a long ago, long ago acquaintance even, okay? I mean, as everything is connected, but... Taking back your power, what did I say? Like, you know, you can't be backstabbed if you take back your power. So, divine being again, Jesus. I feel like, Paul number three, I feel like... Okay. I feel like you have you you are taking back your power from some kind of situation that really at some point you felt like left you broken, okay? And so I feel like actually taking back your power is putting an end to uh, putting a death to that situation. You you're still in it though. You're still putting an end to it, still taking back your power. I feel like you need to expect somebody from really again like a long time ago to come back into your life. But again, this isn't somebody that you connected with. This is somebody, and like, I'm not saying this person is coming in um, to love you or be your lover or your best friend or like at all. I feel like this is just going to be some kind of full circle energy where you're going to be like, fuck, okay. Because as soon as you really put an end to the situation and you, you're done taking back your power, this person is going to is gonna reveal themselves back into your reality. And that's when you know, I don't know, something about seeing that person again, even if it's just for a split second again, it's going to be big. I don't know why this energy is coming up, but it's going to be something profound for you, okay? Like, as, as soon as you go through, as soon as you're done with that whole, like, cycle or whatever, yeah, courage. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. As soon as you, as soon as you finish that cycle and, and you come full circle, it's kind of, this person might be, might be uh, seeing you, like, when they meet you, meet you, they might also be like, what the fuck, because you changed so much or something, Okay. But, like, as soon as you see them again, or as soon as you uh, come into contact with that full cycle energy, I feel like you're going to be in an immense state of um, grounded self-empowerment, okay? So take it easy. Like, you're still going through the taking back your power um, with that betrayal. Um, I, I, do, I do feel like this, this, the, the, the betrayal energy does want to come in as well, but I feel like you're way beyond that already, okay? You're way, way, way beyond that. It's like you're already taking back your power, you get what I'm saying? So I feel like this, this long ago past person is, is just going to be some kind of confirmation for you, and maybe you even for them. This is going to be like something like that. I'm going to go to the next palm. I feel like that's sufficient, okay? Um, thank you so much, palm number three. That was your reason, yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. Let's do two, three, two, three, four, five. Nanak dag shak sin hende. Sat nam palm number four. For those of you who picked this <clears throat> Silver Tree of Life. This is going to be a reading to see what's the truth of your situation. I feel like, yeah, Two of Swords, Four of Wands. I feel like pile number four. There's something about like being the allness or embodying the allness, like embodying Yggdrasil, strength. Like... Like the shaman, yes, 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 the shaman travels between realms on the world tree, but like 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 ultimately the the gift and the the lesson should be that you are the world tree, right, and that's the only reason you can travel between the realms, right, so the truth of your situation, polymer four first and foremost, you need to recognize that something was completely self created, okay. 
You created, you done this. You done this, okay? I don't care if somebody did something to you or anything like that. I'm not victim blaming. I'm just saying like your higher self and I'm getting a very, very powerful and very understanding force being like, like you done this, you done did this. Like you need to fully embrace that, okay? Because only then will the, the, the truth or the clarity or the plot line of the story actually come into awareness for you, okay? Because it is just a story, right? That you fucking wrote and are writing, okay? Send it once all the way to justice. And I, get, I got this Atlas sense, you know, uh, bearing the world on your shoulders. Not in a bad way. It's just like, like, like I'm carrying the world, you know? Um, there, there's a very big Titan energy around you. <clears throat> Princess of Wands, excuse me. <sighs> the torchbearer, I remember somebody saying something about Prometheus. Pile number four. <clears throat> I don't necessarily even want to say that you think you want clarity or truth on a situation because, like, your experience, what I'm experiencing, what, what I'm experiencing is actually going so beyond this, like, um, story that's playing out. I do feel a little bit of a of a desire, like a little bit of a human desire, and nothing wrong with that, um, because we are human, um, to kind of understand the story, because, like, what's the point of watching a movie if you don't understand what the fuck's happening, right? But I feel like that's what what's happening. The truth of your situation is you're you're watching a movie that you wrote, and you're kind of, this is crazy, and you're kind of, yeah, life review, and you're kind of looking at what you wrote, and you're shifting and rewriting, self-realization, you're rewriting the shit that you don't want in your final premiere. Energy shifts again, absolutely, like, uh, you're not, you are not, <laughs> life review again, you're not complacent or happy with the storyline that, again, you wrote. You saw the movie, you saw the ending, and you were like, uh -uh, uh -uh, no! And I feel like you're shifting, you're fucking shifting the storyline, okay? Like, no fucking doubt about it, you are rewriting your own story here, very intensely, very consciously okay this is a lot of consciousness energy like the princess of wands is new consciousness it's new ideas it's new perspectives right and like the energy shift like this is proper energy work you're doing and the only reason you're able to do this is like i i also like listen you're the world tree uh you wrestled with god um I don't know how you see this, this oneness energy, but like that's why you like like you you're doing it from this perspective. Or you're about to. You're rewriting your whole story. You're like you're like, no, that sucks. No, no, this person's acting needs improving. You know, shit like that. I love it. I'm hearing for a lot for, 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 for a lot of you, Paul number four, that when you disassociate, when you go through those kinds of energy things, that's literally like your higher self directing me like, um uh, you know <laughs> Healthy lifestyle. This 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 card, this card is trying to tell me something which I'm not getting. Remember who you are. <clears throat> if you fall, the world falls, right? Like, if Yggdrasil dies, like, it's Ragnarok or some shit, like... Or Ragnarok happens in Yggdrasil. What, 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 what is the healthy lifestyle trying to tell me? Crazy. This healthy lifestyle is giving me matrix energies. Like, like we all know that it's not fun to eat healthy. It is, but like, it's not fun to exercise. It is, but you get what I'm saying. Not only are are you rewriting your subconscious programming, but I'm getting for a lot of you, you're about to like start 
um, being this energy so fully that you're, 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 you're the truth of your situation is you're reprogramming uh, the proteins uh, in your in your muscles, the, the proteins, the enzymes in your digestion. You're reprogramming your DNA basically here, okay, to kind of like feed off of whatever it is. Like maggots feeding off of plastic, okay, and eating it like it's real food. Some shit like that. The truth of your situation, Polymer 4, is like you saw the humanness of your story and you were like, okay, yes, that was fun, that was yay, yay. But then you were like, boo. And now you're you're rewriting a much more active story. You're rewriting your story and you're making it magical. You are rewriting the coding in your DNA. That's what you're doing, okay? You might be experiencing it as a story as well. The rewriting itself is also a movie. You get what I'm saying? But do know that, hey, you're going places, all right? All right, thank you so much. That was your original. Please do the thing. And I'll see you again for another one, guys. Suck them, bye.